Hi, uh, my name is uh, Randy, and I helped um, code this program. It's a level editor for the Mega Man X games for Super Nintendo. I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a while. Um, basically, there's a program named Luciano who uh, went in and um, hacked the uh, the game and was able to create a, a level editor for uh, Mega Man X by using the, the debug menu. He was able to go in there and uh, create a level editor and that works for Mega Man X. He tried to create support for Mega Man X 2, X3, but it was pretty buggy and another hacker came in, his name was his name is Red Guy on ROMHacking.net forums and he made uh, support for Mega Man X2 and X3. I convinced Luciano to, to make the project open source so other people go in there and edit it. It's um, kind of clunky, it's not 100% perfect. Um, I've actually went in there and um, edited some code too. This is the version I call 1.3. It's available on GitHub and um, um, Dropbox. The binary's on there. I'll post the links. And this is the original version from Luciano, uh, Red Guy's version. That was taken down off GitHub, but that's my code edits his code. And so there is support now for Mega Man X2 and X3. For Mega Man, uh, Rockman and Fort, uh, which is released only in Japan. It's really limited support. Like the sprites don't show up for the for the enemies. And I just wanted to create like a 10 or 15 minute tutorial showing um, basically how to use the program. So this is Mega Man X1. Um, came out around like 1990. Some of the graphics don't show up correctly in the program, like right here. The graphics are compressed in the game. Games back here on the Super Nintendo were really small. You know, usually like two to five megabytes max. So a lot of the graphics are compressed. The code's really complicated. Like, you know, today you download like a free to play game, like, um, you know, Fall Guys or something, or Apex Legends. It's like 10 gigabytes for like an update. But back then, I mean, you bought the game brand new. It was like, you know, two megabytes on the video game chip and everything that was in there and you couldn't really edit it or anything so um, there's a lot of things you can um, do it's mostly a level editing program here I'm going to talk about some of the things the pros and cons so you can't really edit the sprites except for their palettes you can't edit Mega Man X um, you can't edit the text throughout the game um, you can edit the checkpoints and the palettes, um, and the levels. So I wanted to go in and show you all that. So right here from the menu, you just click editor, and then it goes by size. So like some of the smallest um, blocks of work will be tile, and you can go in and you can edit the you know the colors. Kind of looks janky here, but. Um, you can change the palette so it matches with what it's supposed to really look like. Like that's what it you know looks like for the like the background. Like this is the like these blocks and stuff. And then you can see right here it gets a little bit bigger. You work in with bigger blocks. It's probably better to just go into a, like a tile editing program like Tile Layer Pro or Tile Molester and then just edit the you know the level there if you're gonna do that and then just copy and paste here once you have all the blocks and everything you want and it goes like with blocks and there is there is even an undo function for like um, blocks in the scene I'm going to show you that in a second so I was just messing around the program the last couple of days I want to make this sure this video is right so the scene and stuff like here's for the uh, level so say for it's like right here this this is selected and replaces this the default values so say you want to um, edit this level right here, which is you know down here, this road, and you um, accidentally push the wrong button or something, you push the the left mouse button. So 
see now it's all purple down here. Like that's a mistake. You don't want that. Right here it's stored in memory and replaced. So just right click that. Now it's up here. Go back here, left click. And now it's fixed here in the game. So it's got like a little undo function where you can like, you know, go in here and like copy and paste, you know, add graphics, delete graphics, and, um, and stuff for... The games are pretty small though, so it's hard to go in there and um, like add a bunch of enemies and stuff. It's not like crash the game, so I'm gonna talk about that later. Let's see, you can like, like, right, like this, and then um, left click this and see it copies and pastes and stuff. It looks a little bit messed up. See, see the purple. It's not supposed to be purple like that, but I think you get the point. Um, this editor right here is really powerful, the event editor. This is what I helped work on. This, I added a little info button here at the bottom. So if you uh, scroll through, you can um, see the enemies. And I'll show you some information about that. So let me just click on the enemy real quick. So see, I'll say the name of the. This is all pulled off the Mega Man X wiki online. So that's Spiky. This is Gunvolt. Some of the graphics don't load correctly, like for sub bosses and bosses. But um, this is like a very experimental editor. There are a bunch of other people have tried to do editors. Usually they make them from scratch using like Game Maker or something, and they try to edit the physics. But a lot of the projects become abandoned. There's Mega Maker, which is classic Mega Man. That doesn't include the X series though. So there's important a couple important things about the game I wanted to go over. This purple art bar right here, this is like a scene editing thing. It's like a collision event. So when the, the box right here, the event editor, um, and moves over this purple thing. What happens is it loads all the graphics for this, this scene right here. So, so you can see there's cyan square around. Spiky and Gunvolt, and they're loaded here, so you can scroll through the graphics that are loaded for this specific scene. It's loaded in memory, and then when you go to the next scene, the next purple thing, like such as right here, the new graphics are going to be loaded, like these um, these enemies. So um, I wanted to show an example of deleting Spiky and then adding them again. Just a real simplest maneuver. So you can get an idea of how to um, use the, uh, the the editor because I think it can be powerful. People can go in and make it, um, you know, edit the game a lot, make some more ROM hacks. So you see a bunch of this info. Type three means enemy. This is the X position of the sprite, Y position, event ID. That's the that's the, the, the type of enemy, so if I delete that and, and change that number and then re-add it, um, that's spiky. So if I add, if I do, it'll show differently for like Gunvolt, for example. See, that's 29. And you can scroll through all the enemies real easy, just clicking um, like lock type. So now it's going to it's going to every um, event type that's three. So that means enemies. So now it's on the crushers and the next crusher, etc. Okay, so you're gonna wanna, you know, write all this information down, which block type, X position, Y position, event ID, etc, etc, and you just go down here, you click delete event, boom, spiky's gone. Okay, now how do we get them back? So you don't go in here and you don't edit this stuff. That's going to screw up the game. It's going to overwrite Gunvolt and then he's not going to be in the game. So you just got to click Add Event. And now that the box is all up here, so you need to move it back down here. So you got the X position, Y position. You want to edit the type. So remember that type 3 is. Um, like an enemy. There's other types too, like that shows up for the heart tanks and um, energy bars and sub tanks and stuff like that. So number 15, 
Um, now Spike is showing up and uh, one more important thing is uh, you need to go down here and you had to memorize these two things so it was so block 16 that's gunvolt so we want to change it back to where the original spikey was 13 you don't want to edit up right here that's going to cause an error you just want to go right here and then you just click move event now it's like you never deleted spike he's there and um, for part two I'm going to show you how to put in an enemy that's not loaded in the event so like an enemy that's not loaded from this collision editor like I was going to have you do a Hogan Martin. That's complicated because you need to go right here and you ed need to edit the, the VRAM. And um, there's a special way to do that. And that's actually really complicated. Like, um, I wanted to try and get rid of that and make it more user friendly. There's a couple really good level editing programs for Super Metroid. It's called Smile. And then, you know, before Mario Maker, there was uh, Lunar Magic for. Um, uh, Super Nintendo like Super Mario World and stuff. That's a really good one before uh, Mario Maker. And um, so that's my example with this. So you can also edit the checkpoints. Um, before I go do before I do that, I want to show you guys um, some of the other sprites like for the items. And you can right here you can do things like you know change the level. So you would click page up, page down. And you can change the palette and stuff, but I don't really mess around with that. It's just to change the colors, and you can mess it up. So, a level that has a lot of good um, items I can show you guys would be Flame Mammoth. Okay, so open up the event editor and stuff. So typically the event type when that I think that went zero it goes to like an item. There's the uh, energy bar, energy so it's energy tank and stuff, and then you would just go lock type, and then you can just let people see. Okay, there's a sub tank. That's uh, his reserve energy. They have E tanks in the classic series and the X3, there's sub tanks. For X3, that was on Super Nintendo, and then they also made a PlayStation version too. So it's also on the PlayStation, and they have it in like the collection history. The other Mega Man X games, see that's his the extra life. Uh, more energy. And here's like a heart container, heart tank. Um I went in and I edited the graphics for a few of the other Mega Man X games. The sub tanks weren't showing up properly, and I don't remember if the hard tanks were too, but I went in and I edited the graphics, so now you can see those clearly, so it's easier to edit, and you can like move around the hard tanks. I think there is a bug. If you move around the hard tank, it might crash the game. So you can, so you can see it moving to the right because you're changing the, the X coordinates. And, um, okay, so let's go back to the first level. And this is the intro stage. I also made a hack where you can skip the intro stage because I was debugging the game a lot. It was annoying having to do the intro stage every time. You can also enter a password for that. We're getting almost close to 15 minutes. So I'll try and hurry up here. Okay, so for the checkpoint, you just pull up the editor right here. Okay, first checkpoint right here unlike Super Mario world there's no like flag or anything it's invisible but if you die in this stage so you fall down one of these pits you're gonna recover right here okay for this example um, I'm just gonna change the, the location of the checkpoint so you can like delete delete the checkpoints and stuff and add new one I think you can add new ones some levels I think they have two checkpoints I'm not 100% certain Okay, so I'm just gonna. So basically, where Mega Man X drops down is this blue square right here. So you change that blue square, and he's gonna, he's gonna. The checkpoint's gonna be in a different location. So I go here. You can just. This is all by hex codes, so it's zero to sixteen bits. So you just change from E41 to F41, 
you know you can see that blue box went from here to here and you're also going to want to change the camera because otherwise the camera is going to scroll to the left and then it's going to go back to here after it loads the, the event so you go down to the camera and you change that up one hex thing which is just one letter and now the camera when he dies he falls in his pit it'll show he'll just the screen will just start right here both the screen and Mega Man it's not going to flip around and stuff and then see so just do that and that's real easy and that's some of the main functions for the level editor um, for I think part two after I show it to change that enemy I want to get into some of the more deeper hack stuff where you need to know a lot of stuff like well, I just want to show like what hex looks like, what the opcodes look like, maybe a couple programs to uh, edit the, the tiles and uh, the palettes and stuff and just show you guys some basic stuff like that. But that's um, really advanced um, ROM hacking techniques. Okay, thanks. That's pretty much part one. Stick around uh, for part two. And thank you. Bye.